A next generation supercomputer is set to be installed in Italy's Bologna. Uh, the new system could help predict the weather with more accuracy, giving people a better chance of preparing for high impact weather events such as windstorms or floods. Jurgen Samson reports. Mythologists and scientists from across Europe gathered in an old tobacco factory in Bologna. This is where a new supercomputer will be installed, one that can predict the weather with more accuracy and further into the future. The launch of the European supercomputer facility is a leap forward according to the European Weather Forecast Agency. We really want to push the science, push the computer power, that we can really see if one of these hot spell or cold spell is going to come in Europe in the next two, three weeks. The earlier the forecast, the better the chances of preparing for extreme weather events in Europe, like the recent floods in Venice, an unexpected cold spell in Spain or a heavy storm in Italy. The facility in Bologna will consist of three to four structures hosting the supercomputer, cooling system, electricity and servers. It will unleash the power of many, many laptops combined. 100,000 to millions of laptops. So this is the performance that we need to, to simulate and to model complex things such as a weather forecast is. The price tag on the supercomputer facility will be around 160 million euros. When you invest one euro on an, a supercalculator, the saving of money, the benefit for the society is 12 times this investment. By the end of 2020, Bologna will become the new European center for weather forecasts. With the introduction of the new supercomputer, citizens across Europe will be able to plan their everyday even further ahead and governments will be able to improve their early warnings and measures against extreme weather events. Jorgen Samso in Bologna for Euronews. Well, Jürgen is still in Bologna. Let's head over to him uh, now. Good morning to you, Jürgen. Um, the weather is famously very uh, unpredictable. So how accurate is this new supercomputer going to be? Yes, there's a lot of excitement about this new computer and, and for weather forecasts as we know them. The, the, the promise here from Bologna is that we, we know it's going to normally be, we get seven days ahead, but now it's going to be in the future 10 days ahead. And for these more severe weather events, we have cold spells, heat waves and severe storms. We have used now, we have, we, they, methodologists can predict them. Uh, two weeks ahead, but now in the future they will they'll be able to predict, predict them almost a month ahead, four weeks ahead. And for for more um, what they call global scale anomalies, like we know the 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 the, the weather phenomenon El Nino, they will actually they the promise for the for the supercomputer facility is that they can they can predict that up to a year ahead. So it's um, that's really the promise from here. And and on a more technical the more technical level. Uh, the precision of the resolutions that these um, uh, methodologists work with is um, going from 18 kilometers down to five kilometers. So they will have a lot of more data to work with. And Jürgen, let's look at the practical applications uh, of this supercomputer. If we look at something like the wildfires that are going on at the moment in California, uh, how will uh, this sort of a, a new forecasting system be able to help? Yeah, for you and me, on when we look at our phone, we're going to have, uh, in the future, we're going to have, uh, we can look further ahead on our phones when we check the weather. But on a larger scale, the earlier we know about um, um, severe weather events like floodings, heat waves, and also those wildfires you mentioned, the more we can prepare and be ready to take measures against those. Um, we, can, we can prepare and be better prepared to, to, to take measures against um, those severe uh, weather events. And, and in the end, that can save lives and it can save property.